Actually, my last weekend in Greece before I leave in exactly a week. It hasn't really hit me yet and I feel like I'm in a state of denial. Last week, I decided to reach out to some local photographers just because I was like, you know what? I did set a mini goal that I would reach out to some Greek wedding photographers and see if I could second shoot for them. So everyone that got back to me was like, oh, the season is over, blah, blah, blah. Except for this one guy named George. Him and his friend Fabian were hosting a workshop. I learned so much. For creative things like this, I feel like if you're gonna learn something and you're gonna network, I think it is worth the investment. <laughs> So, so good. good. Yeah, Christian's having a lot, a lot of fun. She's always been on. Surf Pro Surf Boba at Sure Wishes. Second location, best boba place in Athens, hands down. I got a brown sugar pearl milk tea and I got Christian a taro milk tea. I'm I've had a lot of boba living in the States and in Seattle, but I have to say this place in Athens in particular, what is happening? Is like maybe the best boba place that I've ever been to. It's run by like a Taiwanese family, so I think that's why. Good morning guys! It is now a Sunday, but I'm a little bit dressed up today because Christian and I are celebrating our early four-year anniversary. It's technically next Friday, but since I'm leaving the next day after that, we didn't want to celebrate it and then just have me leave and it just be like a stressful situation. So we're about to go head out for brunch and then we're gonna go have a candlelit dinner at home. And Christian's just putting in the roses and they're so cute! Yeah, we really need to clean up. How much salt? One and a half teaspoons salt. Back at the flat. Brunch earlier today was pretty good. The vibes there are immaculate. We went there once with Christian's co-worker and we really liked the vibes there. And then after that we went back home and then went to pick up our friend Melina. 
and one of her other friends to go to Monasiraki because I really wanted to get like a silver necklace for my brother. This is the one that I got him. And I personally really liked it. I sent him a picture of like a bunch of them. But he texted me afterwards that he just wants like a simple cross necklace. So I'm gonna give this to someone else. We went to the Seo flea market. I'm probably gonna have to go back this week and just get a bunch of souvenirs before I go back. And we're gonna have our pizza night slash anniversary night. As you guys can see, my makeup is a little bit crazy right now, but it also looks really good. It's just not natural at all. I just got back after like six hours of being at this makeup artist's apartment. Her name is Vasya. She's so nice and she does such a good job she went with something like less natural today but like, look at how clean that is i met her at the photography workshop earlier last week Ready? One, two, three. And I'm gonna mute myself too. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mute you now. Mm -hmm. Over there. There we go. Yay! It is about like 3, almost 4 p.m. right now. I had like a pretty bad mental breakdown this morning. I'm actually right in front of Galimad Maro to meet with Melina because we're gonna do like a quick photo shoot. I don't know, I just woke up super anxious about like going back to Seattle and just everything that comes with that like reverse culture shock. I left Seattle in a pretty bad mental space and I'm in a pretty good one now. So I guess I'm just afraid that I am going to be back in that mental space when I come back. And so I had like a FaceTime yoga session with Melina this morning and that really helped. Oh, we can take photos here. Behind the building this Let me. Melina in a cute outfit on. She looks so cute! We are currently at Zapion. The video. You're gonna be my model. Uh -huh. <laughs> we just took beautiful ass photos. And I'm not saying this to like praise myself. I'm just saying Melina should be a model. The lighting was so nice. Yeah. You picked the location. Yeah. You have to show the location. Started over there, we're at Zap Zapion. Yeah. And then we shot in front of the building and then we went inside. It was golden hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of gone now. Now it's after golden hour. Yeah. today to look for a cross charm for my brother. So the first store that I went to was called 
Badasaki. Run by like these two sisters. They were so sweet. So I got this charm for myself, which is the sun. And then I got this chain and it's like a thicker ropey chain material. And then I also got this silver paper clip style chain. I got the same chain, but longer for my dad to go with the cross that I got the other day. I went to this other store. I got this like brighter silver chain for my brother. I went to Thisio and got my mom and I these rings. I don't know, it's just cute and simple. Also, when I got the rings, this guy gave me like this silver gold plated little charm for free. We're hungry and there's like no food. So Christian and I just got a chicken pita yudos from our favorite place. And now I'm gonna chill. Hi, Christian. You will stay. Oh, I think it's just a mix of water. It's like, I just ate fish. Hi! Hi! Bringing more of my name time around. Honestly. Again. It's been two days since I last spoke to you guys yesterday. I didn't really talk to the camera because I was still feeling delusional. Just like not eating enough and not getting enough sleep just really got to me. And then yesterday was like the tipping point where I had like a second meltdown. And then in order to cure that, I just wilted um, some Vietnamese food. Wilt is like a food delivery service here that they have in Greece and maybe some other European countries. Um, I treated Christian and I to like Vietnamese food from a place called Hanoi and then right after that I automatically felt so much better and then we like drove to get boba afterwards and then I just like packed for the rest of the evening so I forgot to tell you guys I got a haircut I just wanted to trim from funnel before I head back to Seattle because it was getting really dry I have my last day tomorrow I still need to get some stuff in the center and then I fly back on Saturday it's been an emotional past couple of days you know I'm gonna miss Christian it's the longest that I've been with him and it's the longest that I've been away from Seattle. Obviously, I'm really excited to see my family again and, you know, Bruno, the dog. I'm just trying to live in the moment and right now that's making me happy. So I actually have to head out because Melina and I are going to our very first aerial yoga class. Guys, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try aerial yoga. It hasn't been my top priority, but it's always looked so cool and this yoga studio offers it. So yeah, let's go do some freaking aerial yoga. Thank you to Yeah, we can so Melina and I just got out of aerial yoga. Tell them how it was. <gasps> oh she got it. We got it. Yeah. We lost one month. It's okay. We just treat ourselves to I got a lemon pie. Melina got a tiramisu and I got two Melo Macarna. Melo Macarna. Super tasty. So it's like a Christmas thing. It is now Friday. I can't believe that it's my last full day in Athens. I'm not sure if it hasn't hit me yet or that it's, you know, already hit me earlier this week and now I'm just like enjoying the present moment. But guys, aerial yoga yesterday was so 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 much fun just spinning around um we did better than we thought we would being in the air with her upside down on like separate ropes i don't even know what you call them like we just looked at each other and we we're like this is so much fun that was the most fun that i've had learning a new skill in so long like it just brought her and i just like pure joy and then we were almost like annoyed that we didn't find this class sooner christian and i are gonna head to sunyon for some surf but i also want to take some pictures beforehand just because i never got to yesterday and i haven't really taken a lot of photos of myself on a dslr in athens this skirt it's a cotton thrifted eddie bauer skirt i didn't even know they made skirts um, anyways i got this at like a goodwill back in seattle this is a wrap top from the hippie shop in monasaraki that i got earlier this summer and then these are two of the silver necklaces that i showed you guys <laughs>
Dana's first time having boba. Which one? <gasps> the Oreo? Yeah. Melina's first boba, she got What's a classic. That? It's tapioca. Weird that, right? Huh? Weird that, right? Uh huh. <laughs> you like it? It's so good. You're gonna be obsessed now. You're welcome. It's so good. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. So nice. <laughs> But I took the bubbles are style, like very un because it feels like it's uh, like Harry Bow or something. Well, guys, I saw the next day that <laughs> someone found four million uh, four million check. Million. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come. I'm excited to see my family, but I'm so so sad right now. Today is the day I fly in a couple of hours. Christian's out currently to get the car, but I had such a nice evening in yesterday. Um, we picked up my friend Melina and her friend Dimitra, and we just had a night in watching Friends while I just finished packing. I had such a good time here. I made such good friends, and to go back to something familiar but now seems unfamiliar to me is gonna be a bit of a shock. So I got my away suitcase and my personal item that is huge. I'm flying Delta. I think they will let me um, take that on. I also have this suitcase that you guys might remember from my freaking Italy trip. Like it's literally, maybe I haven't uploaded the video yet. Two wheels missing now? Or one doesn't even have a wheel? And then this one doesn't even work, so it's just like slanted and the fabric is out on this corner. So this is going to be this suitcase's last trip. It's a medium size. It's not so huge. It's a Samsonite. It's an old one. And then I'm also bringing Christian's duffel bag. The second check-in luggage is 85 bucks, guys. Like, ugh. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm flying into New York. It's gonna be my first labor in New York ever, so that's gonna be a little bit exciting. And it was on my vision board to go to New York this year. Well, technically, I put a picture on my vision board of like a window looking at New York City. So if I see that today, it's one thing that's gonna be checked off of my vision board for 2022. Um, it's just funny how everything unravels. Just got some spinach pies to go. I think that the uh, paying one year Melina came with me. Hey. Okay. Hi. Three hours later. Patient and once a gate agent comes on board, uh, she'll advise us what the next step will be for everybody. Thank you. Um, we're just sitting here for right now. Um... I'm still here! Let's go in, let's go in. Let's go in? Alright, let's do it. Oh my gosh, guys. Guess where I am right now? Not in New York. We're in Greece. I just had a surf session because the plane is rescheduled for tomorrow. I was on the plane for like three hours. First, the pilot on the speaker was saying that there was something wrong with the computers and that they're waiting to hear back from maintenance. So then the plane drove back to the gate. We were there for like an hour or so and then we went back out away from the gate until he was like, guys, our time just expired by like three minutes and we have to go back to the gate. So then we went back to the gate. Everyone's like confused. Yeah, it was just so hilarious because the goodbye with Melina and Dimitra. I was like crying. It was like this whole thing. And then in the end, I didn't even leave. So I'm actually gonna meet up with them again. I'm gonna get back. Now I get changed, get ready. Not really traditional concert event, or it used to be traditional, but it's not anymore. So we're gonna go there with some of his work colleagues. And then tomorrow I fly out at like 10 something. So it's gonna be an early morning tomorrow. We got our boba! We basically live at Cherwish, guys. I'm glad that I stayed an extra day to surf and get a boba flavor. Lena and Dimitra came over for curry! Yeah. Krisha and I made curry and now we just watched Friends. It was so tasty. And now we're heading out to a bar. 
And then Christian and I are going to Bazookia with his work people. Okay, can you explain to them what Bazookia is? No, you can't uh, explain it. Like, you can't explain it. I can't it. explain you'll see tonight. It's called trust. It's Greek trust. <laughs> but you pay a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's just drinking I told you not to go, go but whatever. Uh, for the vlog. I got like four hours of sleep. I'm so tired. We're both so exhausted. I really made the most out of my last day and I'm happy about that. I was having mixed feelings yesterday because like I said, I've already said my goodbyes. So it was kind of annoying, but I'm glad that I stayed an extra day because I got the sad stuff done like yesterday and then after that I just got to enjoy and today it's gonna be easier to say goodbye, I think. Let's just hope that the plane takes off this time. Recognizes, I don't think he remembers me. No, I don't think he remembers me. <laughs> he looks more excited to see David. Well, okay, he likes David more. <laughs>